going to be honest with you, I'm a little bit grumpy and a lot of bit jet lagged, so we're off to a good start. And I'm trying to hide all of it behind this red lip, so let me know <laughs> if it's working. A red lip can fix everything in my mind, so I'm hoping it's well disguised. We are here for less than 36 hours, which is crazy. Like in BC for less than 26 hours. We landed 24 hours ago, as of right now, and we are packing up, unpacking, then repacking to head to LA tomorrow morning. So we landed Hi. yesterday afternoon and we leave at 7.30 a.m for our flight back to LA where we'll be for five weeks. So the only opportunity I have to like film this haul for you is now because I'm not bringing the majority of the stuff that I purchased to LA. I'm gonna leave most of it here in BC. So I was like, all right, I got 36 hours and a lot of stuff to get done, including my nails. What do you think? It's like a nice pink, which is actually probably the exact pink of the t-shirt I lost. <laughs> We're off to a tragic start to this haul. All I wanted, the whole I, trip. I'm looking at this, the pink, uh, the pink nails and the red lips. I asked for a pink lip. You did. I asked for a pink <laughs> lip, in fairness. And I was like, what about red? <laughs> so I asked for pink. I'm in a whole pink mood. I was gonna wear my pink graphic tee that I bought in Harajuku on my final day in Tokyo that I had searched for the entire trip. And it's the one thing we lost. I was like, mom, could you grab my graphic tee? I'm gonna wear that with like a pair of black pants for the haul because it had like the sim... I was so excited. I was, it was my final purchase of the whole trip the night before we left. I got it from a Japanese brand called Candy Stripper. Weird name, I know. It kind of like evokes like a Fashion Nova vibe, the name does, but the clothes are like super girly, really, really cute, ultra feminine, very Harajuku girl, like so adorable. It's a Japanese brand, I think Tokyo based, but I got this top. I really wanted something that wasn't cheesy tourist, but did have like Japanese writing on it. Ironically, it didn't actually have Japanese writing on it, it had Chinese writing on it. But I was like, I'll settle, because this was such a hard thing to find. It said candy stripper in Chinese, but it was so cute. It was like this pink graphic tee and I was gonna wear it for the haul. And my mom said, we can't find it. I wonder if it was it on the bank cash or something. I don't know, because we searched high and low. We did a really good job with our pack. We took our time. We like scanned the room twice over. I looked in all the empty shopping bags and somehow, how? My, my final purchase. Mm. Goodbye. But I am wearing this outfit that I got right before I bought that t-shirt. Um, so that is going to be the first thing I show in this haul. I'm going to have try on clips of all of the different pieces. You know, girl, I had to shop. And shop I did. Straight up, the fashion and the shopping in Tokyo is some of the best in the world, I think. Yep. The fashion is spectacular. Now, I've always loved a lot of Japanese brands as well as a lot of Chinese brands. Um, they tend to, I just tend to lean towards Japanese and Chinese fashion. Um, so I had a lot of fun because they also had a lot of Chinese brands that we don't have over here as well. So I mostly got stuff, or I mostly tried to get stuff from either Japanese or Chinese brands, um, but I did go to Zara. But before you jump at me, you know, jump down my throat, there is a lot of like Japanese or Tokyo exclusives at the Zara. And also Zara is a brand that has different stock in different places. For example, even the LA stores get very different stock than the BC stores because Zara stocks for the market they're selling to. And so when you go to Zara's in different countries, yes, some of the stuff is the same in every Zara, but there are stuff that's different. And their Zara was so well stocked in Ginza and it was massive, it was like five or six floors. So I did do some damage there as well. So yes, I bought a lot, I have zero regrets and I think I would literally go back to Japan just to shop. That's how good it was. Yeah. So big thumbs up on the shopping front. This first outfit that I'm gonna show you is actually a three piece set and it was gifted to me. Nothing else was gifted. I purchased everything else myself, but my tour guide show is very connected in the fashion world. And he knew that I really wanted to do a lot of shopping at Japanese brands. And even if I didn't purchase, like at least check them out and like see what the Japanese brands are coming out with there. And he was really good friends with the creative director for the sister company for this brand called X Girl. It was started in New York, but it is now considered a Japanese brand. I'm not sure, I think they sold to a Japanese company or something. But yes, it's called X Girl and they did gift all three pieces to me. 
I got to pick whatever I wanted um, and I just fell in love with this outfit. I think it's so cool. Um, this top is like very different for me. It's like a zip up oversized short sleeve collared shirt and I wouldn't usually pick something up like this but I love the way it looks with the entire outfit. I love that this top and pant matching set situation, such a matching set person, short girls matching sets elongate really helps elongate us so i'm always looking for matching sets and i really love that this is two different patterns because i love mixing patterns so it's two different kinds of checkered or plaid so there's like a bigger and then a smaller but it's all black and white and then i just grabbed this black with it's white right that's white yep black with white x girl tank top to layer underneath it the pants have like a toggle at the end. I found a lot of stuff in Japan had toggles and I really loved that trend. So a lot of the stuff I got has toggles, which is cool because then I can cinch the ankles or I can leave them loose. These pants are something I would go for any day. Like I love a loose flowy pant, especially for summer. I love this outfit with like a pair of black and white fans or something like that. Such a fit. One of my favorite places we went is a store called Wako. W-A-C-O, Waco. We kept calling it Waco, but then my guide was like, oh, you mean Waco? And I was like, yes. Um, and I got one pair of shoes the whole trip, which is actually not a lot for me because I'm a shoe girl. Like, I love shoes. I would have bought a second pair from this brand. I fell in love with this brand. It is a Chinese brand, and I've never heard of it. I don't think we have it anywhere here in North America. It's called Staccato, which to me sounds Italian, but it is Chinese. And I got these, oh, Oh my God, they're so beautiful. They're like a nude sandal with like a chunky tread and this beautiful crisscross detail. They're so lightweight. They're so comfortable on the foot. And to me, it's giving very like Chanel vibes. These are ultra girly, very feminine, super different from the more street style that I have on right now. So I definitely wouldn't wear these together, but this was like a beautiful summer dress or like a flowy skirt, so cute. They're really textured, they have pearls, they have rhinestones, they're just so me, I love them. Oh, I love them. I really hope we get the brand Staccato over here because I'm telling you, I would absolutely buy more from them. They had so many cute shoes, it was really hard for me to pick. The other plus about shopping as a tourist when you're in Japan is you get 10% off everything and at Waco, we got 15% off because we, you got like a guest card that gave you five and then because we we're tourists, we got another 10. So I let myself use that as an excuse to make a splurgy purchase. This was my biggest splurge of the trip. I knew I was probably gonna make one splurge while I was there to have a lifelong memory piece that I will keep forever. And this is it. It is a Japanese designer. I cannot pronounce the name of the brand. It's Antiprima. Anteprima. Anteprima. But it is a -E Japanese designer. It is a handmade purse. This is the back, but just wait for it. <laughs> That's the front. It is a tactile 3D gold dog on a cream background. It has this little toggle around the handles. I love the material because it's going to be really easy to maintain and keep clean. It's very textural. It's almost like this plasticky material that's all like woven and knotted together. It is a zip top closure, double handle. You can kind of wear it on the crook of your arm, but it does also very comfortably fit over the shoulder. This is so cute. Now this bag is the statement of the outfit. Like you would, I would wear this personally with like a very plain outfit, all black, black and white, all white, cream, something like that, and just let this be the standout. And it's so cute. It's adorable. It's so cute. She was a bit expensive, but again, I just wanted at least one piece that I would have forever. Now I did get myself one other purse while I was there. I actually bought this on my first day out with show. Isumiyaki is one of my absolute favorite designers. I love Isumiyaki, specifically the Pleats Please line, though I do think all of the pieces are beautiful. Um, and I've always loved the Bella Bella bags, but for me, they're just a little bit too pricey here in North America, but they were much more affordable buying it in Japan. So I let myself use that as an excuse. I did want to get one Isumiyaki piece while I was there just because he is my favorite designer and it is a Japanese designer. So I picked up my Bawa Bawa bag. I didn't have many options because 
they were sold out of a lot. Um, so this was one of the only options, but honestly, the black and white is gonna just go with everything. This is also kind of like a tote bag style, um, and basically it's also a plasticky material. I like low maintenance everything. So plastic bags are great for me as a blind girl because I can like wipe them clean. Um, but I've always just loved the texture of Bawa Bawa bags. Like the, I don't know how to explain it. It's like these little triangles, these rubbery plasticky triangles with mesh underneath them. You can get them in tons of different shapes, styles, and colors. I was hoping for a crossbody, but this will do. I'm just happy I managed to get my hands on one and for much less expensive than they are here in North America. There was nothing actually from the Please Please collection that was calling my name while I was there, um, but my mom got her first pair. Uh, the Please Please is the outfit that I wore in this video, my finished condo tour. People always ask where that's from. I wear it constantly. I get the most wear out of that outfit ever. Um, and it is the Izumiyaki Please Please collection. So my mom got her own pair, which are different than mine. They're a different shape. They're almost like a harem pant style. They're very cool. I They're like, the Pleats Please collection is the most comfortable, easy thing you will own in your closet. You will want to wear it all the time with everything. It's so easy to pack and travel with because it's lightweight. It never wrinkles because it's literally a giant wrinkle and they take up like no room. It's just perfection. My mom also got a blouse from Isamiyaki to wear with it and it's so, so beautiful. She has a bit of makeup on it because we've been wearing it already. So you can see the texture hopefully. And it's sleets running through it. It's just, it's At so beautiful. It, yeah. it really is such a beautiful outfit. And then I gave her the Bawa Bawa bag to wear with it. And then her white vans. She looked so cute. Of course, I picked up a bunch of gifts for different people in my life while I was there, including the dogs. Bunch of bandanas. They had so many cute bandanas at Waco, which is where we got all of these. And they were so well priced. So we've got this one. So cute. This one. This one's for my brother's wedding. Elton's gonna wear it as his wedding day look. Oh, the, and this is the Snoopy one that we got the, at the Snoopy Museum. Snooper duper. Oh, Snoopy. Oh, so cute. So many good bandanas. And there's Snoopy again. And one more Snoopy. It's great. <laughs> of course, my mom, get enough my mom grabbed three Snoopies. We did get one from Disney as well. Yes, we did. It is. I just found it actually. Elton's Disney one. So cute at Disney Sea. We didn't find too many dog toys. No, we looked for dog toys and we didn't find any. Waka was really cool because they had a lot of pop-ups of Japanese brands from all different types of products. Like they had this really cool jewelry brand, so cute. But they also had this brand called Ball and Chain, which is from Kyoto, and it was unbelievable. The swarms, the herd of people that were crowding around these bags. They were very well priced and they're so cute. So I had to get multiple, including some gifts for people. I'm so obsessed. I'll just show you the ones I got for myself and my mom to share. So we have this one. It's like a lightweight nylon material. It's just an open top with these rope handles. Again, like fits very comfortably under the arm. They had all different sizes, but I didn't want one that's too big just because I never carry that much and I'm really petite. And then on them, they have all these different designs. So what is this one? Have on? It has this cat and the cat's wearing red glasses. And then it's got these like different colors darting out of it and music notes. And um, I guess like an old fashioned cassette that you put in and a, an LP. It's so cute. and. Oh, the message is really cute. Oh, that one's just Bon Jane. Okay, so a lot of them say like have a really different cute message. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them say different things on them. Um, and they do them with different artists. So some of them are just their own, but others they do with artists, including this one that I got, which is a gray version. And then this one is with Bobby Dazzler, who is a UK based brand. And this one has a like hippie bunny on it. And it says eat, sleep and make repeat. So, so, so stinking cute. And then I got a crossbody version and it's like a nice tiny pink one. I had to when I found a pink one, especially because of what's on it, which is like crepes or pancakes and crepes are one of my favorite things ever. And what does this one say? Bon and Jane, it says, connection between people determines life. Have a nice day. And then it's like this, this rope crossbody, like so, 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 so. So cool, so cute, and very, very affordable for these. So I had to pick up a couple because they're just so unique. Okay, so I found this brand called Chico, which is a Japanese brand from the research I did. 
and it's one size fits all, which happened to fit me perfectly, rarely to never happens. They had some really cute stuff and it was very affordable. So I got this t-shirt. I honestly like wish I got a second one. I love this t-shirt so much. It's really unique. I've never seen one like it. It has all, it's just like a regular white cotton t-shirt, but it's scrunchy. How would you describe this model? Yeah, it's just all scrunched, um, elasticated in different directions. It's really cute, very comfortable, super unique. I absolutely love it. You might have seen it in the vlog because I did wear this one day. That's how much I loved it. I had to wear it right away. Then I did go a little pants crazy on this trip because other than like leggings and joggers, I haven't had a pair of pants that fits me correctly for a little bit because my weight's just been fluctuating. And so I didn't have pants in my size until now. Now I do. I am set for pants. I got all the pants shopping done in one foul swoop. I got these ones from Chico. They're so comfy. They're really nice lightweight. Like wide leg black. I love this like nylon -y material. They have all these pockets. They have a little waist belt to tie. It's scrunched back. I, like such a fan of these. Such, such a fan that I also got them in the creamy white color. It's like a soft creamy white. So it's not a stark white. And for the summer, I just think these are going to be such a great staple for me. Big, 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 big fan of these. And I think there's going to be so many easy ways for me to style them. All the length of the pants were correct for me, like without needing to be tailored, which is super extra rare. So I was a big fan of that. And then finally, I got this more for my mom than myself, but I might wear it sometimes too because it's just so stinking precious, but I just think it'll look so good on her. So it is this blouse from Chico. It has like a pointed collar on it and pearl buttons. And then all of this pleating that goes down to almost like a skirt at the bottom. Like it's so flouncy, it's so feminine. It's just love. Oh, it'd be really nice with those shoes, Molly, the staccato shoes. Yeah, with the pearls. Super nice and, and the pants. So cute. That'd be really, really cute. All right, Zara, we're doing it. I did so much damage at Zara. I haven't been having luck at Zara's here in North America for quite some time. But boy, did I have luck in the Tokyo one. So good. So this first piece I'm showing you, I believe is a Tokyo exclusive. Okay, my mom took the tag off, but she kept it. So if we can find it, we'll put some B-roll in. But this was a collaboration, we believe with a Japanese artist. We can't read it. Um, but it had like a picture of the artist on the tag. Um, and there was quite a few Japanese ex or Tokyo exclusive products in the Zara. Um, so it's this sheer mesh long sleeve crop top off the shoulder and it's blues. What else? What's a going on? A little yellow and a little light pink and a little light green. Yeah, just a, a kind of a mishmash. It's super cool. Super cute. And I really like that it was one of their, we believe, exclusives. <laughs> it, it, it definitely was an exclusive. I also got this like summer dress. The girl in front of me was trying it on as well. It's just really pretty. Lots of these layers. I feel like it looks a lot more expensive than it was. So I really love this. And I think this with the staccato sandals and it's just, it's really pretty. I can't wait to wear that for my brother's wedding in the summer. I won't wear it to the wedding because I already have my outfit for the wedding, but like the festivities around the wedding, you will be seeing me wear that for sure. Pants is where I did the most damage because like I said, I haven't really had pants um, outside of leggings and joggers that fit me. Um, so I got these white jeans from Zara. Everything's from Zara. I'm going to stop saying that. It's like the scrunch waist. So I figure I won't like grow in or out of it. I'll just, it'll be able to accommodate whatever weight that I am. And they're the perfect length for me. I've seen these at other Zara's. So I know that this is kind of a staple for them, but I just had to pick them up. Got my 10% off. And I think these are gonna be very nice for the summer months, a nice crisp white. And I also got the denim, like just light blue denim version of those. And so did my mom. Yep, shock. Cheers for Neve. Everybody give a cheers for Neve in the comments because she has not worn a jean. In years. A decade? Easy, Yeah. If not more. At minimum a decade. She has not worn a pair of jeans because she finds them so uncomfortable. And frankly, so do I, which is why the only reason I got these is because of the nice waistband. But yeah, these they are, really are flattering. Oh, they're super nice. They're really nice. I went up to a eight 
or a six. I bought a six, you bought an eight. Yeah. So we bought them like multiple sizes bigger than we actually would typically wear because we just liked the way that that looked on us. Never be afraid to experiment with sizes. Like even if you, if you see something you like and it is not your size at all, like they don't have your size, just try it on anyways because you never know. These really worked. Like I'm currently wearing a two and these are a six and they are perfectly the way I like them. Like they're exactly how I wanted them to fit. Okay, the toggles. The toggles that I was talking about. This is a nylon material top. It is a white color, sleeveless. You'll see it better on, but it's, it's just- Super cute. On. It's really cool. And here are the toggles. So you can cinch it or loosen it around your waist. And I just think the toggles give it a really relaxed, effortless, cool vibe. So big fan of this. And I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear for it, especially with these pants. Another pair of black pants, I'll probably bring one and leave them in LA and then leave the other ones here in BC um, because I like to not have to travel back and forth with, with bags every time I'm going place to place. So these have the toggle at the waist, they have the toggle at the ankles, which is so great for us short girls. We can like make sure they don't drag on the ground. They have these big pockets. They're like this shiny satiny material very comfy, stretchy waist, loose leg, just so obsessed with these. Again, like effortless cool girl vibes, especially with that white tank. So cute, and because I love them so much, and my mom and I will be sharing them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the toggle hit me in the eye. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it hurts. Well, now you know toggles can hurt you. <laughs> it hurts. I take it all I back. Mean, I hate the toggles. <laughs> it's a horrible trend. <laughs> okay. Anyways, my mom and I do plan to share these. So it was a, it was oh, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't think you're giving me a choice. I'm only saying it because you're not going to give me the option no. anyway. So I might as well just agree. Yeah. Um, so these ones are the same pants, but in a I'm champagne. A champagne. Yeah. Topi, champagne. -y. Speaking of a <laughs> summer pant. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? When they fit, they look good. When just they get them. fit, look, we didn't, I didn't go out looking for pants. They just all fell into my lap, which is the best way for it to be. Because I know if I go looking for pants, I'll just be discouraged and frustrated because nothing's going to, like, I'm not going to find the right sizes when I want to. So you just got to go with it when you're not trying. So I got these pants, again, the stretchy waist. I love a stretchy waist and I love a loose leg. So they're a loose leg, stretchy waist, almost more of a um, linen fabric yeah and they are a cream so and again cute. with your sandals they're gonna look oh great. my god these will look so good with the sandals or really cute with and the my bag, bag. yeah like look how cute this is gonna look as a summer fit we really haven't looked at any of these since we got them so this is fun seeing yeah and these are together. more like dressy all the other pants are more like i'm a cool girl with my cargo pants with my big pockets with my toggles that are hitting me in the eye whereas this is more like, I'm dressy going to brunch with my family in the south of France for my brother's wedding. This is one of the Zara. Tokyo exclusives. It is my mom's. The, the girl, it was so busy that day. And she saw some things on me and she was so kind. She was like, hold on a sec, I'm gonna get you more stuff. So she ran around with all these different things coming in and out, but this is what I fell for. It'll look great with the pleated pants, yeah. with blouse, with just leggings. Yeah. Like they open at the side. Yeah, it has like these Line. belts. I don't know. It's very cool. It's everything like there a black was, vest. Everything was loose, wasn't it? All the fashion. Loose, was and, loose flowy, and flowy. Which is our vibe. My mom and, and Maxi. I love just being comfy. I want to do a video very soon on like how to be cute and comfortable without wearing sweats and athleisure. Like outfit ideas for every occasion, work, date night, Sunday brunch, like that is not sweats or athleisure, but is as comfortable as pajamas, okay? Because that is how I've curated my wardrobe and I have so many different tips and tricks to share with you guys on how to do that. So give this a thumbs up if that's a video you would want. Oh, and these are adorable. Final pair of pants. You might've also seen these in one of the Tokyo vlogs but they are these pink cargo pants, pockets on the side, loose, so soft, comfortable, fabric. really soft, not stretchy at all. So I did go up to a four to give me that bit of extra room so I can like sit comfortably. Just absolutely 
adore these. They are longer on me, but in a way that I think looks very funky. Like I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna get them hemmed. I'm gonna leave them long and just let them be baggy around my shoe because I just, I don't know. I think the look looks good. I like that vibe. Um, kind of reminds me of when I was younger. I used to do that all the time. My parents weren't getting my clothes tailored for an 11 year old growing girl, you know? What am I saying 11 year old and growing? I stopped growing at 11. <laughs> That's did. why I'm still down here. <laughs> um, and then finally, the last thing I got at Zara is this dress. It's really cute. It's like very plain and simple, just with like my Prada black bag that I constantly wear, some black platform sandals, black sunglasses, red lip, hair up in a top knot, like just kind of very chic, sophisticated, long, long floor length. It has pockets, v-neck, scrunchy open waist detail, which I think really makes the look. It's nothing special but really really nice and I didn't have a plain black summer dress so I felt like this is kind of one of those things when you find it you just pick it up because you know you're gonna make good use out of it shockingly I did not get makeup but I did get a bunch of skincare and some hair care stuff. I texted one of my besties who is a beauty writer. She writes about beauty products and reviews beauty for a living. Um, as a journalist, she's so talented and she genuinely knows everything about every brand. And we have the exact same skin type. So she was able to give me all of her recommendations and I just trusted her and picked it all up. This I was very much on the hunt for and we bought every single one they had. I love it. So excited. Why isn't this more common? Okay, so this is what it looks like out of the packaging. It's just very tiny and you open it and that is a hair stick. So when you do a slicked back look and you have all those flyaways, you literally take this and just like rub it on your head like a glue stick and it slicks all those flyaways down. And I constantly deal with flyaways, especially because I have bangs. So when I try to put those back, sometimes they're escaping. So I could not be more excited to get my hands on this. If you know any alternatives that you can get on like Amazon or somewhere here in North America, a brand that sells them here, please let me know because this is brilliant. Next, I picked up this. It's a moisturizing lotion for your face. And I picked up some of this for my friend as well. Just got like duplicates for her. I got these toothbrushes because they were just really stinking cute. So it's part of that anime or whatever that they. Yeah, they're like these new characters that have come out recently. Their sunscreens over in Japan are very good. I didn't get anything from like the iconic Shiseido or Shuumura or any of that, even though they're amazing Japanese brands. I can get them here. And also, I just was sticking with drugstore stuff. Packaging of things are so cute there. So cute. Sunscreen again. Yes. We got quite a few sunscreens. Yes, that's yeah, 50. Got another one of the lotions from a friend. I love the packaging because for us packing it to come home, like because they're all in these baggies, we didn't have to worry about anything exploding in the suitcase, which was very nice. Now this might look like a normal Nivea like chapstick, but the formulation is different in Japan. So I picked it up, it's very nice. I have another one that I opened already, big fan. And then I got this for nails, it's like a top coat hardening, strengthening nail product that she said is very good. I got this which has braille on it. Look, there's braille. I can't read it of course, cause it's Japanese braille, but really excited about that. So I think that's super cool. Cool and Rich Q10 plus extra guard medicated moist shield cream. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And got this. Interesting little bottle. Clear and smooth, healthy skin, tear wellness, chikeshi. I'm not sure what it is, but I bet it's good. I'm gonna have to ask my friend to, to help me out because I literally just took the list she sent me to the drugstore and was like, hmm, just help me find these. And of course, when I was in Kyoto, I got some matcha powder. It's like a, a really nice sweet matcha. I just hit myself in the face. I'm upset with myself that I didn't buy more of these. Like I'm kicking myself. As I was boarding the plane in Tokyo, I was like, damn it, Molly, why only two? One of these is a gift for somebody, one of them I'm keeping, but like I really should have just stocked up. Oh, I also got these Kleenex because they're adorable. Tissue, not Kleenex, tissue. 
Funny how we call them Kleenex. I know. When a brand funny? really penetrates your brain. Yeah. And I think that's everything. I mean, we picked up like some snacks and stuff like that, but you already saw me do a whole taste test. You already know. But yeah, that's it. That's everything I bought. Got a few more gifts for people, but I'm not gonna show you that. We've seen enough. But I honestly just had the most fun shopping there. Ugh, I, I would move there if I spoke Japanese. That's how much I loved it. It exceeded my expectations and I had high expectations because I've wanted to go for 10 years. So I just couldn't be more grateful that I had this opportunity and that I have so many wonderful things to remember it by. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing that I got is. And also, if you're really into Japanese and Chinese fashion, comment and let me know what your favorite Japanese or Chinese brands are that I might not have checked out. And also, if you go, go to Candy Stripper and get a t-shirt for me, okay? Until next time, you can click over here to see my last vlog from Japan, or you can click over here to see that taste test I mentioned of 7-Eleven foods in Japan. Bye.